Hey there, you little chicken nuggets. Did you know? <laughs> it's time for Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Taro. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome. Well, look at who decided to show up. I've been waiting for y'all. Golly gee whiz, y'all. <laughs> I want to play a game. You ready? Then let's play Did You Know? <laughs> Now, I have had a wonderful month hosting this game show. We laughed, we cried, and I giggled so hard I had a Dorito shoot out of my nose. It has been a blast, but this is our final episode of the game show. This means our contestants, Jada and Sam, have to battle it out. One more round and we will crown a winner. And that will also decide who wins the 100 foot tall chocolate bunny. Y'all ready to get started? That's what I like to hear. Let's give a big round of applause for Jada and Sam. Hey, guys. And girls. Now, Jada and Sam, this final round will be a little different. We have three pictures, and it's up to you to decide what is going on in those pictures. First person to find out what is wrong in the pictures gets 100 points. Jada is at 700 points, and Sam is just behind her with 600 points. Now, are you ready? So ready. I've never been more ready. Let's do this. Alrighty, let's begin. Did you know? In this picture, there is something out of place. Take a good hard look. Looks like just a bunch of sheep. Yeah, it does. Hmm. I can't see anything. I see it. The dog in the middle. Great job, Sam. Good eye. That brings us to a tie. How you feeling, Jada? Well, I'm not scared if that's what you mean. <laughs> Perfect. Let's see picture number two. Now looky here. Just a picture of a ton of little stuffed puppies. Hmm. I can't see it. Me either. Are you sure there's something wrong in this picture? Trust me, there is. Oh, oh, there it is. Another dog right there. Look. Great job, Jada! You pull ahead once again. All right, here's the last picture of the last round. This decides it all. Are you ready? Yes! Yeah! All righty, here we go. This one might be a little tough, so I'll give you some time. Hmm. Anything yet? Still can't get it? Nope, nothing. Now, I may be wrong, but I see all of those penguins, right? Yeah. Is that a polar bear in the middle just wearing a penguin mask? Um, let me see. Ah, yes, that is correct. Sam, congratulations, you just won another 100 points. All right. Man, Carl, that was a lot of fun. Wait. If that was the last question and I just got a hundred more points, that means Jada and I tie? Yep. So that means we get to split the 100 foot chocolate bunny? Nope. What? What's gonna happen to it then? To be fair, I'll take the bunny back to my place so I can eat it myself. No way, that's not fair. Yeah, we worked hard for that prize, Carl. You gotta give us at least a little bit. All right, fine. You guys can have your share. Mmm, you sure, Carl? Of course, what? Do you not trust me? I do, but I don't, if that makes sense. Oh, come on, Jada, you gotta trust me. <sighs> okay, I do, I'm sorry. I just have a hard time trusting anyone. Can I ask you a question? Do you think you trust Jesus? Well, of course, I would be a fool if I didn't, right? Okay, I was just wondering, because I struggle with trust sometimes too. I think everyone does every now and then. Ain't that the truth. Wait, was there anyone during Jesus' time that didn't trust? Are you kidding? All the time. 
Even before Jesus was born, people lacked trust. From Moses, to David, to Jonah, and to Paul. Even the disciples who were with Jesus all the time doubted that he even rose from the grave. Wait, the disciples had a hard time trusting Jesus? Big time. I mean, even though Jesus told them everything that was going to happen, they still couldn't believe it. But when Jesus showed up and they saw him for their very own eyes, everything changed. Really? What changed? Their whole life. Think about it. Jesus had claimed to be God's son. He told them that if they believed in him, that they could have all of their sins taken away. He promised that he would never leave them and that they could live in heaven with him one day. And now that he was alive and had risen from the dead, that meant Jesus was telling the truth. Wow, I guess you're right. I just thought, never mind. Oh, come on, Carl. What were you going to say? Well, I don't want to be a Donald Downer right now, but I can't see Jesus with my own eyes like the disciples did. Well, sure. But what's your question? I guess what I'm trying to figure out is, how can I trust Jesus if I can't see him? That's a great question, Carl. It can be really tough trusting someone you've never met. Exactly. But the thing is, Jesus knows us. He loves us so much that he was willing to die for us. He taught us how to live and how to talk. But just like any relationship, it takes time to build trust. And the more time you spend with God, the more you will begin to trust Jesus. So what you're saying is the more time we spend praying, reading the Bible, and talking about God, the more I'll start to trust Jesus? Oh yeah, that's all Jesus wants from us. To trust Him in every part of our life. That is great to hear. I just want to tell everyone now. Hey kids, did you know that we could trust Jesus? What was that? Well, Jada, I just said, our big idea! heard it kids our big idea today is did you know you can trust jesus let's all say it together on the count of three. One, two, three. did you know you can trust jesus awesome job everyone and awesome job carl for guessing the big idea i did oh yeah i guess i did i want to say a big thank you to our wonderful contestants jada and sam Get up for them, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I want to be a man of my word, so I did take that giant chocolate bunny and cut it in half and put them on two semi-trucks. And they're headed to y'all to enjoy your prize, Sam and Jada. Wow, thanks, Carl. You are welcome. Oh, wait a minute. Won't the chocolate be all melted by the time it gets here? Fortunately, I won't be answering any questions at this time. But I want to thank you for your time, and we'll see you next time on D. you know thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Ooh.